Dykes on the beat. babes and welcome back to my channel and if you're new hi i'm sin and welcome to my channel and in today's video as you can tell by the title this is going to be a very interesting video also my last video on this topic because as you see again as you can tell by the title this is the end for me basically this is going to be another only fans video my link is down below i still have my page it is currently free to the public you feel me it is so if you would like to go subscribe and talk to me or whatever you want to do, you know, you can go down there and check it out. I still have my page active. I still check it. I still, you know, do stuff up there. So not do stuff, but I still use the page. So, you know, if you want to get up there and see what the world I had going on this whole time, you're free to do so. I had said that I was going to do a, um, a year video, like, you know, my time on OnlyFans over a year. Basically, like, just looking back, recapping on it. And then also I want to talk about the whole, you know, of course, the stuff that's going on with OnlyFans currently, how that, I guess, affected me or didn't affect me, whatever. But I just want to talk about it because, you know, I said I would, and also a lot of stuff is happening right now. So, let's just go ahead and jump right in and get to talking about this stuff. Y'all, my eyes twitching. If you can tell, just ignore it. But anyway, so just to get started. Just letting y'all know, this video was made before they decided to keep it. I want to talk about what's going on currently with OnlyFans. So, if you are new to OnlyFans or oblivious or living on a rock, because, you know, who at this point don't know about OnlyFans. But OnlyFans has recently put out, OnlyFans is to block sexually explicit videos starting in October which basically they're doing because they want to take their platform mainstream and they want their platform to have longevity so they want to cut that stuff out and I guess you know make OnlyFans known for more than just sex work you know. a lot of people have been having a lot to say about it you know giving their opinions and honestly my opinion on it is you know, OnlyFans do what you want to do. A lot of people are saying, you know, it's going to be a bad move on their part because you cutting out most of your money makers. Like, the people who are making them a ton of money are accounts with sexual activity on them. And a lot of people are missing the fine print. Nudity and stuff like that is still going to be allowed. Just not actual sexual con Like, pornography is not allowed. Me. We'll start in October first. It will not be allowed anymore. It really, honestly, don't apply to me that much. I will say because my page is mainly, honestly, me dancing and cute clothing, a few like teasers, like my main page. Because I always said, you know, my subscription wasn't expensive, so you weren't gonna expose me for ten dollars, okay? So my page, my feed is really nothing too crazy. You know, my fans love it still. I ain't gonna say like you know it's boring. But it's not what people thought it was going to be. Now, in my messages, it do get, you know, in my DMs, it do go down. But I will be honest, because, you know, it's just us here talking. Probably, probably about maybe March. I'll say maybe around March. I actually added that type of content because I had, I, um, you know, met a person. We, you know, was doing the do or whatever. And it was just like, hey, why not? You know, why not? So, I did. But from, like, March till like June that was it so like three three months four months I guess I don't know anyway so you know I tried it out it made me oh uh, you know some good money or whatever it's just simple stuff not even crazy nothing crazy you know made me good money but again it would not be on my page it was just in my messages and so if I had somebody who subscribed and they wanted to see this type of stuff and it was you know ready to pay to see this type of stuff then of course like you know hey I sold it but honestly again another reason why it doesn't apply to me I actually quit doing creating content posting like new content I quit doing that in June so from June to now I have actually not been you know actively doing OnlyFans I have not actually been actively working since November of 2020 I dibbled and dabbled in dancing and you know being an entertainer and stuff so I stopped doing that so I mean that's why I say it don't really apply to me because even if they quit doing it, even if they was to delete my page, you know, for whatever reason, it honestly wouldn't too much apply to me because I quit, you know, like two months ago. I just, you know, I just didn't say nothing. It's just like, whatever, you know, people still want to subscribe and look on my page. I didn't care. And people, you know, 
if I get on there one day and people in my DMs, you know, asking for videos that I already have, then yeah, I would sell them because, you know, why not? It ain't hurting, but creating new content and doing stuff, I have not been doing. But that's that, talking about that stuff. But enough of that, I'm gonna go ahead and get into my only thing. So I really had, I just wanted to put out there that I quit doing OnlyFans. I still was also using my OnlyFans for promo reasons. For people who wanted me to promote their OnlyFans because I was still gaining fans. Like currently I have 192 fans, you know, that are active, that still, you know, like stuff, still talk, still do stuff. I still have active fans. So that's why I actually, I kept my page and I also made it free so that I can get, you know, have fans for when people do pay for promo, I'm putting their, their product out to people. So, you know, before I get into how much money I made, let's talk about my how OnlyFans, you know, changed me for the better. Which, if you've been following my page since my first OnlyFans video, then you already know how it changed for me. First off, I was working a job and I was in school. I was working a job where I was working two days a week, four hours a day. So I was basically really making around like two hundred dollars a month working and. I started OnlyFans, I made over a thousand dollars in a week. And I think my first month on OnlyFans, I made around 2K. That was on OnlyFans with cash apps, with all that type of stuff, I made like 2K. And I was like, whoa, I can go from working a job making $200 a month to being at home, doing what I do on a daily anyway, just not on camera and making 2K. And honestly, I wasn't making new content, to be honest. I was selling and posting stuff I been had in my phone. Cause if you know me, that's the person that I am anyway. So that was like, whoa. So I quit my job August of last year, quit my job. And I took OnlyFans and like my business and stuff full time. And I realized how much money I was making. Like I was making around like 1K, minimum like 900. But I know I was making like 1K a month, every month. Like, I was making good money. Like I've never made that much money in a month in my life doing anything. So again, if you watch my other OnlyFans videos, then you know what I was going through at that time with that stuff. I was going through some deep depression, August of you know 2020, dealing with issues within friendships, relationships. A lot of stuff really just hit me at one time. You know, I was already going through stuff and then putting OnlyFans on top of it, knowing how people felt about OnlyFans, kind of just really really weighed on me and just put me in a very deep depression but like on snapchat i'm having the memories pop up now so i took off like you know i started you know just doing that i was making like i said good money to the point where i got to live out one of my biggest dreams i got you know a bbl again if you follow my youtube um thing then you already know that i got a bbl last year december 2020 so you know only fans really did do a lot for me it opened up doors for me got me to reach dreams i never thought that i would be able to you know reach and do like i paid for my entire surgery myself my recovery home i paid for my mom them came down for me and paid for the room that i stayed in the first night my mama paid for my massages but for the most part i made a big girl move by myself that i wouldn't have never been able to do working at my old job had that so just really that's all i have to say about OnlyFans. regardless of what people have to say about OnlyFans or how they feel OnlyFans really changed you know regular people's life for the better like it's OnlyFans has a bad stigma behind it and people look at OnlyFans in a bad light but i would never I will forever be thankful that OnlyFans, you know, that I've, I've seen that first video and how OnlyFans was just changing her life for the better. Like, you know, I, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> I wouldn't, you know, have done all the things that I've done and whatever. I will forever be thankful that OnlyFans, you know, that I've, I've seen that first video and how OnlyFans was just changing her life for the better. Like, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> Honestly, all I can do is thank OnlyFans. That's my story with OnlyFans. It's very boring, very basic. The only th really thing, big thing that, like I said, happened was I got to pay for my own surgery. Let's go ahead and get to the all the money that I made over this entire time, which again may not be a lot to some of y'all, but for me, I've never made this much money in one place doing nothing. And like I said, I also was dancing, so I was also making money from that. I was making money from a lot of things. So don't put all your eggs in one basket. Is another tip from me, okay? Overall, and like I. I said I quit in June so when you guys see these numbers for like July and like August just know I like I said I quit <laughs> so that's why my numbers aren't big but in like one year of doing OnlyFans in total I grossed on OnlyFans $20,592.77 I took home $16,479.93 and just to let you guys know how big of a jump that was, just think about that it was a point in time 
that when I did my taxes and I got my my paper from my job and it was like my year to date, you know how much money I made that year? I had made around three thousand dollars in a year, three thousand dollars, and then got on OnlyFans and in my first two months I made over three thousand dollars. Two months versus 12 months so it's just crazy to think that like i really did that i really made that money so that's everything about OnlyFans. like i said i'm done i had been said that i didn't want to do OnlyFans over a year anyway um i was gonna quit at six months but when i brought that idea up to people they was just like why like ride it out honestly like ride it out but like i said i quit around june doing it but i still use the platform until you know i just decide that i'm so like basically i'm gonna still use it till i get my money out i'll put it that way so it is what it is but anyway i appreciate you guys watching again if you would like to subscribe and be nosy and see what my page is about it's free it's linked down below um if you would like any promo dm me on instagram i would love to but anyway thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoyed make sure you like comment and subscribe if you're still into only fans you can check out my playlist on the fans video or you're just nosy about my journey you can do that every video or playlist that i mentioned in this video will be linked down below so you guys can check those out as well but Hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. This is Sin signing off. Peace.